starting with our blending technique so we need to do it slowly because blending technique is not is not that easy so let's take our colors first in our palette gray and white yeah so let's take our colors in our palette first i'm taking my white get confused it's my palette transparent palette black color and we'll always be using a flat brush over here for coloring our background so i'll be taking my black my white color and mix it we will be starting with the darker shade okay darker shade we started so i'll just be doing the darker shade over here at the edge fine and always while you are blending you need to be a little quick Okay, I'm just moving my brush up, down, up, down. The reason is I will be able to cover my pores easily. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep on doing it. Okay, I'll be adding a little bit of water because I'm finding it little difficult to move my brush easily. So we will be adding just a little bit of water. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm using my flat brush. You'll be using your thickest flat brush. I'm doing it in the landscape direction, the way I kept my cardboard over here. You can keep maybe your newspaper over there at the bottom, so you don't end up get getting like color over there on your desk. Okay, and after this, I'll be adding a little bit of more white color over here. We are going to make this painting today a texture, abstract, floral painting. Okay, so yeah, after this, I'll be using the lighter shade. So, are you able to see it? Just I took a little bit of color. I'm going up, down, up, down. I'll keep on going towards right. I'll come towards left. We need to blend it, okay? And acrylic colors used to dry very quickly. So, we need to be a little fast while we are blending our colors. Fine. So, it's dark, medium. I have my dark shade. Then I'll be using my medium shade over here. So I'll just take this medium shade. I need to take a little bit of color. I'll just keep on doing it gently. See, go towards left, overlap above your darker shade, come towards right. Go left, come right. Go left, right. And once I'm done with my background, don't worry. I'll be waiting for everyone. The reason I'm doing it fast as of now, as I said, acrylic colors used to dry quickly. So even you need to be a little quick, okay? Or else we'll end up getting like patches over here. And we don't want a patch. We want a blending effect. Fine. So yeah, I hope I am clear till here. After this, I'm going to add a little bit of more white color and I'll be doing the lighter shade over here at the center i'll be adding a little bit of white shade how thick is your paper i'm using a canvas sheet it's not a paper so canvas sheet is normally made up of a cloth or uh, and cloth is thick so it's pretty much thick see i'm going left I'll be overlapping a little. While you are overlapping and if you feel that your color has dried completely, you can just apply less pressure while you are overlapping. Because if you end up applying more pressure, you'll end up getting a patch over there, okay? So let's do that. I hope everyone is able to do it. Uh, Nishta, I hope you are able to do it. And if you are drying acrylic painting for the first time, if you're not getting the perfect effect, that's fine. Don't worry. We need a little bit of practice and you'll be definitely practicing it a lot over there in the masterclass. You don't need to worry about that at all. Nisha, are you doing it or are you observing it? Can you just let me know? Okay. What about, okay, Anamika was going to do it along with me. Anamika, I hope you are able to get this blending effect. Can you just let me know? And it would be great if you can on your video. So if you need to make any changes, I can definitely help you out with the same. 
So are you able to see one, two, three shades? One, two, and the third one definitely over here at the center. So we have one, two, three, four, five different patches. Even bro, Shali is able to do it. I hope you all are able to follow it. It would be great if you all can on your video. It actually motivates the mentor as well. So it would be great if you all can come on video. And once you are done with the blending technique, please do give me the confirmation over there in the chat box. So I get an idea and then we'll be moving to our next part. Okay. I am waiting for everyone. Because the main aim of today's session is I definitely want you all to understand the techniques as well. And I want you all to do it along with me. So while you practice it, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay, and as I said, as I am having a cardboard over here, I'm also not doing it, just only. Okay, Ragini, no problem, that's fine. But I hope you are able to follow it, right? Ah, Jumana is feeling sleepy, just observing it. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. So what about others? Are you done with your background? Can I get the confirmation over there in the chat box? Anamika was doing it, right? So are you able to do it, Anamika? Are you okay? She's not there. Who else is doing it along with me so I can wait for you? I get an idea accordingly. Anyone who is doing it along with me today, or else I can move to the next step. Okay, I think so. Everyone is observing it today. No worries. So whenever you look at the uh, painting, observation is the most important thing, okay? So first of all, you need to work on your background and then we will be working on our circles, big, on our flowers over here. It's an abstract painting. So I just made some circles and I'll be giving the texture effect over here. We have this rose flower, okay? So we made this abstract flower over here. And when you observe this painting, are you able to see it? I made some circles over here of different size, right? So we'll be making circles over here of different size. Now, it's a little difficult to make a circle, right? So what you can do is when you especially do it freehand, so what you can do is you can just take the circles over here of different size. You can just take a smaller tube. You can take a bigger tube and you can take one more big circle. You can take circles of three different size. Okay, and then I'll tell you how to make a perfect circle over here. Okay, so when you just look at it, there are a few circles that I did it with my white color. There are a few circles that I did it with my black color, few of them with gray as well, right? So what I'll do is right now, I'll just be taking one single color and I'll be placing my circles first because the placement thing is important. First, we'll be placing our circle. Then we'll be learning the texture effect and few of our flowers, we'll just be coloring it normally. Yes, Ragini, tell me. Yes, Ragini, you can just type it over there in the chat box. I'll definitely be answering your question. See, I am just taking white color over here. In my palette, I took white color. I will be applying white color over here near this edge part. Now what I'll do is I'll just be placing it over here and I'll lift it. I'll place it randomly over here. I'll lift it again, maybe over here and I'll lift it. Okay. After this, I'll be taking a circle of bigger size. So maybe let's take this circle. Okay, it's almost the same. I'll be making one. When we use acrylic colors on cloth, the part of the cloth becomes hard. So what is the technique to move it smoothly? Uh, the part of the cloth becomes hard. So to be honest, there are different colors. Like when you're working on your cloth, you need to take those liquid acrylic colors. And you need to take a ring, you need to apply that ring so that you end up stretching your cloth and then we start coloring about it. There's a different way how you can do it. You can add a little bit of water, but make sure that you don't add more water or else you'll end up getting a transparent shade. Okay. So for the smoothness, if you want to move your brush smoothly, you can always add water, but make sure that you don't add more water. Okay, I'll just be taking a bigger circle now. 
and I'll just be tapping it over here. Make sure that you just apply good amount of color. I hope I answered your question, uh, Ragini. I hope it's clear, right? Okay, thank you for confirming. I am just using this technique, so this will help me to get a perfect circle. I'll be making maybe a big circle over here, over here, and maybe a half circle over here. Fine. Yes. So I hope I am clear to you or I hope everyone got the blending technique. I hope everyone got the hack how to make circle. Please don't make it directly freehand because when I even when I start making a circle, I start with a small circle, I keep on fixing my circle and then I end up getting a big circle. So instead of doing that, you can always take the circles of different size. You can always take the cap of different size and you can just apply color at the edge and you can place it. Okay.